Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to add custom add-ons using the CLI command. And in case you missed previous discussion about auto created fields while we create a new model or while we create any new model. So Odoo automatically create few automatic fields. And what is those purpose? Please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Wablands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the subtopic wise playlist available all right so let's back to our main topic and guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will also get the latest notification about upcoming sessions for example right now you can see i'm using odoo community version right now you can see here i have a two github repositories so this is the design themes uh, specifically this is for the website themes which is provided by odoo right and it's a free themes available in the github and this is the oca module which is the web branch i'm using right i want to use this too in my current project here so for example let's say if i'm going to the apps right now let's say here web notify this module right if i will try to search here i'm not able to find this one because this branch is not available so there is a case while you are working with odoo you also working with multiple branches right multiple branches means like someone created or your custom add-ons path your custom modules you you are trying to use in the existing your project right so how you can add these branches in your current project right so here I'm using the terminal as of now here you can see I'm using like a Python Odoo desk beam so this is generally to active the Odoo service and then after I'm using minus D as a database name so specifically this database I'm working on here I have a one more command but I'm not talking about this part as of now so here you can see custom add-ons and now you can see here we have these modules right in the under this custom add-ons now let's say you can see here this is our custom add-ons now i'm trying to create a new directory which is odoo custom branches okay now you can see here odoo custom branches right right now it's a blank right now you cannot see here right now what I will do is like I will pull this branch the theme branch let me copy this one right and paste here now you can see it will automatically create design underscore desk themes as a directory and under that you can see this list of modules available i mean the themes available right and same i'm also trying to do with this one so first i will click to this one and right now i'm using the version 18 so that's the reason i'm using here the version 18 in my local system right so simple i will remove this git link replace with this one this oca one and now we will see here okay and let me clear now you can see we have a design themes sorry design themes and the web right and now you can see here design themes we have these themes right now if we go to the web you can see here a few modules available including this web notify right and now there is another scenario which is this one this one so this custom add-ons we also need to add why because the student and the all modules which is available here right now what i'm doing is i'm doing like python odoo desk b right then after i have to use here that specific oh all right so we already have here so let me clear right and now you can see here add-ons dash path right then after we have to provide equal to 
first we have to provide here our add-ons directory because this add-ons directory currently available here in this Odoo AD you can see here this one right so that one then after coma we have to provide and then after let's say this custom add-ons comma then after let's say odoo custom branches but here we don't need to only provide the custom branches but inside the custom branches right you can see design underscore themes under this directory having a themes right so that's the reason i'm using like this again i'm copying this path and simple i will add here the web why because under this web directory we have uh, the web related modules and now once i will enter now you can see here this is the physical path available for that add-ons now let's say the custom add-ons you can see here the design themes and here you can see the web right here this is the first care like in the first time you have to click to update app list right so what happened is Odoo automatically read those directory and whatsoever the module is there you will automatically get so here once I remove this filter now you can see this web notify module is available okay so this is the main purpose all right let's say the theme related right so theme is not available here so you have to first let's say website right and once I will install this module and then after you can see multiple theme option is available in the front end side once successfully this website module is installed and for the progress you can check here see it's automatically install a lot of things related to the website right now you can see it will redirect to the front end uh, here you can choose let's keep and now you can see here the multiple themes available right you can pick any of this one let's say this one and if you see here backend it's using this theme underscore peptic right and here you can see if it is available here yeah you can see this theme is available here and if you see here now you can see that thing is available okay so like this way you can add a multiple add-ons path from the terminal now the question is how you will also add in your server right where the production is hosted or let's say in your local system so there is a one more thing is we already used this one right then after what we need to do is I remember guys already discussed about how you can also store this info in your current configuration file so let's say here let's see this weblunch.config right in the weblunch.config let me soft trap right now you can see it's available only the community add-ons and extra is the custom add-ons which is this one right but not this two you can do two ways the first way is very easy minus s stop after init and then here we have to mention that specific configuration file name and once you enter right and it will automatically stop the service and once you click here now you can see here automatically the add-ons path automatically updated here so this is the first case right the second case is let's say if you already know this physical path right uh, let's say here pwd then after you have to copy this path right and then after you have to use here the comma and paste here that particular path so like this way you can also do but this is the manual thing my suggestion is you don't need to do that one because you already know the specific commands right minus s and stop init feature so based on that you can directly update your configuration file right 
so this is the second case and i hope you have a like a good idea about how to add multiple custom directories in the add-ons path for any odoo project right so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session